and it does not get much better than this. At 197 in a tight duel, we have a top five matchup between younger Bastida and Nino Bonacorsi. There's going to be a lot of fireworks, a lot of action between these two. Obviously, we know Nino is going to just continue to be aggressive and shoot, shoot, shoot. But uh, younger Bastida, he's going to be ready to counter. And this one, it's, it's going to be fireworks. It's going to be fun. Maybe even a preview of something we'll see in March. Who knows? Very well, it could be. You know, like we said at the top, this weight class here, uh, you look at the top five guys in this weight, and you could say on any day, they could be a national champion. So you got two of them sitting right here in front of us, ready to do battle. This one's going to be good. There's no doubt about it, and they're already off. Bonacorsi's got the right leg of Bastia. Bonacorsi he needs to get a little room. Nice job bringing him back to the center. Put that leg high in the air. How about Bastida though? Just waited for that right time, kicked that leg free. Only one loss on the season between these two wrestlers. Bastida is 13 and one, Bonacorsi is 11 and 0. Once again, Bonacorsi has got to get Bastida into the center. Out of bounds, though. So, Greg, what's Bastida doing that's making that so hard for Nino? I think just applying pressure to be able to force down. Bon, of course, he's afraid if he keeps continuing to walk back, Bastida is going to kick out like he did a little bit earlier. And so that's why you know, he only wants to take a couple of steps, be cautious with that move back. And Bastida, obviously, knowing where that out of bounds line, is going to continue to hop towards that area. Bastida's yet to really do much on the offensive end. It's been Bonacorsi attacking, getting the shots. And there's a stall call on Bastida. You had to wonder if that was going to come. And now Bonacorsi on that shot. Once again, just unable to finish. And how about the hip toss there from Bastida? Late in the first, yeah, Bastida with the hip toss, 30 seconds left, kind of changes the feel of this match. It was Bonacorsi, as you noted, taking a lot of the shots early. He wants to neutralize those shot attempts, slow things down. It's hard to do against Bonacorsi, whose motor always runs at 110%. Stall call on Bonacorsi this time. And getting a little physical as well. Not sure I quite agree with it, but both guys with a stalling call as the first period is going to come scoreless. Really exciting first period between two top five guys, Nino Bonacorsi and younger Bastida. Of course, Rocky Elam at number one. Bonacorsi lost to Elam last year in the round of 12 in Detroit. And so a guy he might get a chance to rematch later on this season. Yeah, a little bit of his kryptonite, right? So I want to see how, how that would uh, shake out. Bon, of course, he has a win over number three, Michael Beard. And that was a convincing win, too, he had when Lehigh was here in Pittsburgh. And then Beard obviously beating Max Dean, so... Max Dean, the reigning national champ. Nino Bonacorsi said it was a no-brainer to come back for another season at Pitt. 
He never had a single thought about should he or should he not come back. It's been a second home for him. And he cherished the opportunity to do what he loves for one more season. Great shift that time. You can see the difference of where Bonacorsi, when he, he's in that shot, he hasn't quite gotten that trip down. Bastida right away, as soon as he get on the leg, he's picking it high and tripping to get that two. Now Bonacorsi, can he do the same thing? See a little bit of delay there. He needs to try to get that leg high and trip fast. He's been on some shots. He just hasn't been able to finish. Riding time a non-factor as of now. Sits at 18 seconds for Bastida. The match is tied. The duel is tied. And only one more match to come after this one. Of course, he working back middle. I was going to say, I feel like we've seen this position several times in this match. He just can't get the trip down on Bastida. And I would say, well, you got a huge takeaway if you're Bonacorsi after this one. But look at Bastida. Quickly up, up, trip. Right away. Bonacorsi has no reaction. Didn't have the time to. That's what Bon, of course, he needs to try to get to to finish those uh, singles that he's been getting. How fun is this? Can't get much better, that's for sure, as you look at uh, the way Bastida's going to react here on bottom. Two-time ACC champ, runner-up nationally in 2021. We already mentioned this is a match we could see again in the postseason this year, but Bastida gets the escape in the lead here in the third. A top five bout with individual implications and huge dual implications in a 12-12 night. Both guys here with a stalling call. So you got to be careful here as you go out towards that out of bounds line. You could easily be hit if you're trying to just get a fresh start. Nino Bonacorsi looking to stay unbeaten on the season. A minute 20, he's down 3 2. Steven now just trying to push in. And out of bounds they go. Stalling call. Boy, that was a late call. If you're going to call it, call it the second and go out of bounds. And now it's 4 2. It's like the freestyle force out, essentially, what that point was. Don't like the call. What can Nino do here, Greg? He's got to get to his shots. And he's got to finish. I mean, it's, I know it sounds simple, but you know, he's been able to get to the legs. He's been able to pick up the leg. He just has to finish. Now he's here. He's got to wrap his arm around the waist while keeping a hold of that leg. He, he's in the position again. It's what we've seen all match. And there's the takedown. There, back it. points, back points, huge back points. He's got to have two sitting there for him. Nino Bonacorsi in crunch time. Huge back points for Nino Bonacorsi. Unbelievable finish at 97. The field house on its feet. And Nino Bonacorsi stays unbeaten and takes down number five. <laughs> Nino Bonacorsi. Improves to 12-0, electrifying the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse 
in Pittsburgh tonight. Panthers with a three-point lead in the duel.